Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, uh, May 24th, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see on Friday, we did rally a bit and then gave most of those gains back. Technically, the Giddish, they do favor the upside at this point. They are all turning around. And it could mean that we'll go and retest of 20 exponential um, yet again, or the middle of the bullish band. So on Monday, probably on Tuesday, probably Wednesday as well, we'll see this rally and then it will cave if it basically gets rejected at the 20 exponential. So that uh, could be uh, what will offset indices as they look like they are going to retreat yet again. If this starts to rally, then yes, that is not good for those indices. If the yields start to rally, that will not be good for those indices either. But uh, is clearly not a good Friday for industries and uh, for also many uh, metals and so on and so on. So let's look at oil. So oil was one of those markets that did rally. So it did fall towards support, which is the bottom of the bullish band here, roughly 61.57. And then it rallied up towards the 20 exponential and then it stopped. Technically, the industry are all, well, they are mixed at this point, not Kind of, they're kind of turning around. So after this massive fall, they should be very bearish. But they are slowly turning around after this 3% rally on Friday. MACD is still in positive territory, but it is becoming flat, still bearish. The stochastic, very similar. CCI is turning around here, still in negative territory, which is bearish. And the RSI is bullish at this current stage. So there is this uh, triangle that we are trying to uh, break out from we did kind of get very close to that we did break underneath but now we have entered that uh, triangle yet again so if we manage to break above here then we are probably going to look at 70 and probably beyond that but uh, it didn't look very good on thursday but on friday it did rally yet again and got in towards this into this triangle yet again and if it managed to rally yet again and uh, get through here then this will most likely go higher most major uh, uh, banks have uh, investment banks have um, a target of 70 and beyond that so so um, it can break down if we were to get news that iran is going to start selling oil on the market then this could break much lower so uh, 55 probably towards 50 down here at the 200 mega average then could be the target so let's look at natural gas so natural gas has started to break down uh, kind of finally but found support at the 20 exponential so whether or not we we manage to hold here that is going to be the question Taking the years, they do favor the downside. They're all bearish at this point. So break below the 20 could open the door to 2.8591 and uh, 50 moving average down here at 2.76. So to the upside, if we rally from here, they will probably take out, need to take out uh, $3.3, give or take. And then we will most likely head towards these previous highs at 3.3791. So let's look at copper. So copper is uh, well got very uh, have it, uh, <laughs> got very overstretched here at the 4.8 and then broke down and now we're trading at uh, 4.5. Technically, they do all favor the downside. So it looks like we are going to test the 50 moving average yet again. That would kind of make sense, which is the previous highs here. So we'll probably drop and then continue the upside, break below the break of the 50, could open the door to four and then probably the 200 moving average. So we are in an uptrend. We have seen this parabolical moves to the upside and then it has basically broken down to the 50. It looks very similar what's going to happen here. Rally, break down, rally. And so it will continue as world economy is opening and copper is, well, a very important metal. So let's look at gold. So gold continues to rally. It is uh, getting overbought now and uh, pullback is kind of kind of expected as uh, US dollar maybe will appreciate on Monday, Tuesday, probably also on Wednesday. 
we could see a minor pullback for gold. But we only have a crossing year of the 20, end of 20 exponential and the 200 moving average, which should be a very bullish shine. Last time we had a crossing was here. It fell from roughly 1850 all the way down to 1675. So um, we'll see. That should be a very bullish shine. But pullback could be expected as we are overbought and fairly overstretched at this point. Other technical indicators are very bullish indeed. So let's look at silver. Silver has started to break down, found support at the 20 exponential, and uh, at this current stage, we could see a retest. Uh, technical indicators are still very bearish, and uh, we could see a stabilization here before going towards the $40, $40. Break below the 20 exponential, opens the door to the 50, and the 200 down here at $25.66. Uh, Otherwise, it looks like $30 is going to be the target as we are in a really nice channel and the 20 exponential as long as that is holding and then we will probably bounce from here to the upside. So let's look at platinum. So platinum just completely collapsed on Friday. It uh, was doing really well trending up towards the 1300 again but it completely turned around on 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 uh, basically on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and also on Friday. It is a very overstretched to the downside now and approaching our soul conditions. And these technical indicators are very bearish indeed. They're still around the 10 points here and to the downside before we get oversold. So there's still room to the downside. Um, we'll have a, most likely have a crossing of the 20 and the 50 moving average here, which also is a very bearish sign. So if we drop, then we could drop all the way down to 1100 and then the 200 moving average down at 1054. So let's look at pallium. So pallium did drop towards the 50 moving average, which should be uh, should offer quite a lot of um, support. If we look at the Fibonacci retracement for this, we can see that the 31.38.2, uh, which is right underneath the 50 moving average, should offer quite a lot of resistance and support, I mean. And then we have the 50 down here at 60, uh, 26, uh, 37, uh, which should also be kind of a very important area. Usually it bounces off the 50, uh, Fibonacci over 50%. Uh, Technical indicators, they are very bearish indeed. But uh, as long as we are above the 50 moving average, it could, if it stabilizes here, then it could go higher. Break below here, then we have these movie, uh, these Fibonacci retracement levels that we could look at for support. Break below the 61.8, opens the door to the 200 down here at 42.4. So let's look at aluminium. So aluminium uh, fell towards the 200 moving average, rallied significantly towards the middle of the bullish band, and then just absolutely got slammed at the end of, uh, of the uh, Friday session. Technical indicators are very bearish indeed. So if we break below the 50, we could open the door to 24, uh, 2250. We can also look at the Fibonacci retracements for this. And we can see that we tested the 38.2. 50 is down here at 22.53. And then the 61.8 is down here at 20. 174 break below here opens the door to the 200 moving average at give or take uh, 2009 technical indicators are very bearish indeed so let's look at nickel so nickel is uh, testing the 50 moving average and just above the 200 moving average in the middle of in the bottom of the bullish band technical indicators are looking uh, fairly dreadful for uh, for nickel and it kind of looks like we're going to test the 200 moving average but if the 50 holds and we'll stabilize here then we could go higher but uh, but um, this was a nasty fall on wednesday thursday and also on friday and uh, and according to these technical indicators momentum is still very much to the downside so let's look at sugar so sugar also fell on Friday, tested the 20 exponential several times, hanging around here, and then just broke towards the downside. Technical indicators are all bearish indeed. We have the 50 moving average right here at 0 0.1625. Break below that, opens the door to 200 moving average at 0 0.1503. Uh, 
rally from here, most likely find major resistance at the 20 exponential moving average. So let's look at cotton. So cotton tried to rally, found a lot of resistance right at the 50 moving average. Now it's trading at 0 0.82, 90, uh, 0 0.8249. And uh, technically they are, well, they are still bearish. MACD is bearish, stochastic is bearish, CCI is uh, trying to round off here, but it's still in bearish territory, and the RSI is flat. So break below these previous lows, that opens the door to 0 0.7751, and then the 200 moving average down here at 0 0.7634. Uh, to the upside, well, it looks fairly, fairly um, depressing to the upside, to be very honest. If we rally here, 50, 20, and the middle of the bullion pan should all offer quite a lot of resistance. So let's look at Kakoa. So Kakoa didn't really do anything on, on Friday. Tried to rally above the 20, got rejected, broke down below the 50, got rejected, and then we sta we basically stopped here at 24.51. So technically, the are all over the place. It's just a complete gamble to guess where this is going. Can go up the upside, can go to the downside. It's just in the middle of things. So let's look at wheat. So wheat is entering a very interesting um, area, which is the 50 moving average. It broke the 50, got rejected there. Technically, the industry are still very bearish. Um, Stochastic is becoming flat. RSI is still bearish. So MACD is bearish and the CCI is also bearish. So if we manage to stabilize here, then we could head back up. Otherwise, break below the 50, that could open the door all the way down to the 200 moving average at 619. So um, yes, a massive rally, a massive fall. If you look at the Fibonacci retracements for this, this uh, probably won't. We'll say that if we break the give or take 658, then watch below towards the 200 moving average. So, hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And uh, good luck and thank you very much.